an open casket for a Puerto Rican obituary for Pedro Pietri. Epigraph. Juan Miguel Milagros Olga Manuel will right now be doing their own thing where beautiful people sing and dance and work together. Pedro Pietri, Puerto Rican obituary. They worked with the rose between their teeth. They worked the three o'clock shift, closed drunken nights, fucked between boxes. They smoked. Sometimes they accused each other of hitting it too hard. Sometimes they acted trash. When they went to the fair across from Plaza, they ate Maybelline clouds and closed their eyes on cold cities. They lost uncles and didn't discuss funerals. Often they laughed cruelly at the dirty rain. They paid their rent without a contract. This, the only maybe stable payment, even if the check stammered. They crowned their bebos with golden cardboard. Without swimming, they regularly gathered smoke, saliva, charcoal, and vinegar flies. They had a limber complexion, a padlock insecurity, a wholesome cheap bones, and tres monjitas merienda. They invaded a hotel that invaded a beach. They learned to cruise a mall without shopping, which name to give security, which fences opened without pliers. They mixed arroz chino and tostones at a certain hour through the door screens. You could hear Abuela's phone. The car alarm came on and the whole neighborhood lit up with barks. They anticipated the sale of the house. They painted the bars or called Jose and offered to seal the roof. They went to walk at the linear park. They changed their diet, avoided seafood, wore sunscreen on their knuckles. They made dinner. They killed roaches. They cut to the front of the expressway. They complained from the tail end of the traffic jam. They kept the windows open so as not to waste gas. They smoked with their mouth on the filter and air on the flame. They rolled their receipts. They hammered the car horn until calor sounded like sol, until heat sounded like sun. They discovered tadpoles in the parking lot. They sat on the infertile fountain benches and opened their purse. They always had change. Always my bad. They stole napkins and ketchup they carried between pens that read, a red, Santander, your bank. They had family in Yabucoa. Mommy was too old to cook. They argued with their brothers about in-home care. The check was late and no one answered. New transportation was an event. The ferry, the lagoon, the paperwork advanced. They satisfied the quota. They balanced the checkbook. They prepared taxes. They knew well their partner's asymmetries. They helped Don Paco with his groceries. They spoke on the condominium stairs about those who left, those who stayed, the hardships of living here and there. They went to church, thanked God, kept an open mind, and look at her. They decapitated reputations. They sent arroz con gandules. They didn't know if they should stop on the way to San Juan. They memorized their social security, office code, luggage combination. They sat to watch TV and fell asleep. They watched news while folding clothes. They turned off the water heater if no one was showering. Even if it rained at four, they kept repeating this routine. Surprise, crisis, and rescue. They ran to rip off clothespins, screaming la ropa their hands in the air, strongholds against missiles. They opened their palms to form a cup. They filled them with waterfall. They played on the rocks. They let loose slippery laughter. They took names into their mouths. They screamed, Bajame la llaves, lower the keys in the basket. They opened gates. They sat on the roof. They fixed their shirts. They made out and later didn't talk. They died and later died laughing. They splashed their faces. They asked for a ride and gave each other nicknames like Flaco, Gordo, pendejo, or cabrón, where beautiful people sing and dance and work together. Gracias.